All right, welcome to day 20 of the Great Commission Challenge. Uh, today we're going to be talking about finding an approach that fits you. If we look through the Bible, we find uh, characters in the Bible took many different approaches or styles of communicating uh, their faith with others. You know, there is no uh, right way to do evangelism. You can be yourself. And so starting yesterday and Today and tomorrow, we're going to explore six biblical styles of evangelism, two per day. Uh, yesterday, we talked about Peter's confrontational, confrontational approach. Uh, today, we're going to talk about Paul. Um, no, yesterday, we talked about Paul's intellectual approach. Uh, today, I want to talk about uh, style number three, the, blinds man, the blind man's testimonial approach. Uh, you may remember the story about the blind man in the Bible. He was uh, blind since birth, and, and uh, he spent his life begging from people. Uh, but then he had an encounter with Jesus. Jesus met him and restored his sight. He was immediately thrust in front of a hostile audience and told to explain what, it, what had happened. You see, he refused to enter into a theological debate because he wasn't an intellectual. He wasn't looking for an argument because he wasn't confrontational. Instead, he spoke about his experience. What the Bible relates is that he told those that were asking him the question, listen, one thing I know, I was blind, but now I see. You know, th there are people out there that just need to hear the personal account of someone who's come from faith. Could that story be yours? You know, your story doesn't have to be dramatic. It doesn't have to be fantastic. It doesn't have to be made for TV. You just have to be willing to tell it and say, listen, this is where I was. And then I met Jesus. He, he made a change in my life. And this is how my life has changed since I've met Jesus. And to be able to talk to those um, individuals, your friends, your, your loved ones using the testimonial approach. Also, there's uh, Matthew's interpersonal approach. Now, I don't want to spend too much time here today because I've already talked about Matthew on day 17 when I talked about throwing a Matthew party. But in Luke chapter 5, verse 29, uh, uh, Matthew put on this big, huge banquet for all of his tax collecting buddies in an effort to expose them to Jesus and the new life that he offered. He didn't confront them. He, he didn't intellectually challenge them. You know, the Bible doesn't even say he told them his testimony. That was not his style. But what he did do was he relied on the relationships that he had built with, them, with these men over the years and sought to further develop their friendship. He invited them into his home. He spent time with them and ate with them. And he did all of this because he genuinely cared about them. He wants to influence them towards considering the claims of Jesus. Maybe the blind man's testimonial approach will fit you. Maybe it's Matthew's inter interpersonal approach is, is what you need to do is just hang out with your friends and invite your, your Christian friends to join you. But I'm guessing tomorrow there'll be another approach that you could certainly use to reach your friends, your family, and your loved ones for Christ. I'll see you tomorrow.